Speaker, I just want to make a few comments to clarify a few things. I want to address one comment that was made on this floor that Kentucky is number one in abuse. That is not true. Kentucky is number one in abuse and neglect. Neglect is 76% of what our children are in care for right now. As we talk about this process, this is a process that has been used for many, 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 many years. Typically, this process is only used for bills that have already been debated, which was over two hours on this floor last week, or bills that have been moving through the process. Senate Bill 150 was debated on their floor, passed out. It's been in this body for quite some time. We move legislation very quickly at this point in the session because we are at that point of being out of time. This bill is nine pages long. I had someone walk up to me just a few minutes ago and said, I've read this thing three times sitting on the floor and I've made two pages worth of notes. Everybody knows what's in this bill. And we've been on this floor debating this on TV that is broadcast to people all over this state. And I will say that the comments about the people are going to see you, you're going to get elected out, all those things, and the polling that has been brought up here, when it comes to this issue, polling doesn't matter to me because I believe it's the right thing to do. And Mr. Speaker, you and I have been involved in a lot of polling over the years. And we both know, and many of us in this body know, it depends on how the poll is conducted, the audience is targeted, and the question that has been asked. And they haven't told you any of that. But I'm sitting here right now with a poll that was done just last month. It was a statewide broadcast poll. And it asked this question. Do you believe it should be against the law for parents to provide a minor with prescriptions or surgeries to affirm their chosen gender? The total, 66% of Kentuckians said it should be. 90%, almost 90% of Republicans said it should be. 64% of independents and 57% of moderate Democrats said it should be. That's what the people of Kentucky are asking us to do. This is what's right. Mr. Speaker, I'm not the sponsor of this bill that's been said many times on the floor. The sponsor is on the board there. I'm carrying the bill for him on the floor. But I know the sponsor and I know his heart. And I know he wouldn't be doing this unless he believed this was the right thing to do. He cares for people. And I think my record speaks for itself in this body for how I love all people and what the things that I have done to try to help all children across this state. And I think you all know that I wouldn't be doing this on the floor and carrying this bill if I didn't believe in my heart it was the right thing to do. But I have a 16 year old son who can't decide on what he wants to be when he goes to college right now. Sometimes he can't even decide what he wants to do next week. We've heard testimony from children throughout this process that said they felt like they've been forced into this in some way, whether that's psychologically or mentally forced into it, or maybe their parents chose that for them and it wasn't the right choice. But if we're going to protect children, we need to ensure that the surgery or drugs that completely alter their life and alter their body is not something we should be allowing until they are adults who can choose that for themselves. This is the right thing to do for these children. It's just to wait till they're a little bit older to make that choice. With that, Mr. Speaker, I move passage of Senate Bill 150 as amended by House Committee Substitute 1. Question for the body is passage of Senate Bill 150 as amended by House Committee Substitute 1. To recognize the general from Jefferson 30 for discussion of the matter.